774 pounds from Indianapolis, Indiana. A record of 11 and 1, the ESPN light heavyweight champion, ladies and gentlemen, Alvino Manson. down rule. There's a mandatory eight count. If you score a knockdown, you must go to the corner where I direct you before I pick up the count. I also want to remind you only three seconds are allowed in each corner. The California cut rule has been adopted by Indiana. If there is a cut and the boxer cannot continue and it's past the third round, the boxer that's ahead on points at that time will be awarded the winner. Now break clean when I say break. I want a clean fight. Go back to your corners and wait for the bell. Good luck. So the final instructions from referee Mike DeFavis. The crowd just ready to burst. Capacity crowd about 2,000 strong here at the Pendle Arena in downtown Indianapolis. Marvin Johnson in the white front. Alvino Manson in the blue. Look at Manson. Parking Johnson. Like, he looked like a football player, like a fullback, as he rushed Johnson. Nothing wrong with that. You want the other guy to feel your strength right away. Well, he's been accused of being a wrestler type in the ring. They're both 28, and Marvin Johnson, five months older than Manson. Manson is being worn for rapid punching. A rapid punch is when the punch goes on the back of the neck, like a karate chop. That is a foul blow. Marvin Johnson, 28-5, 22 knockouts. Marvin Johnson, pouring it Watch those inside uppercuts by Johnson. He throws tremendous uppercuts. Seconds into the first round. Out of nowhere, Alvino Manson is down. And they're standing here in Indianapolis. Well, I said about the uppercuts, one of those uppercuts snuck through the tremendous power of Mar Marvin Johnson. It's over. anything we don't know if he had ring rust we didn't have time to see it i don't think he would have but those inside shots in the first few rounds he's as dangerous as any light heavyweight in the world and i'm talking about michael Spink, eddie mustafa muhammad and dwight braxton as dangerous as anybody a totally stunned crowd here in indianapolis a happy marvin johnson let's take a look at the entire minute we'll relive that that minute of the first round well right away marvin johnson he got angry because he didn't like the way Manson came out at him. He actually, Marvin Johnson was headbutted. And there's the rapid punches. The referee's going to step in and warn Manson for the rapid punches. And at this point, you just had to know, you had to feel that it wasn't going to go 12 rounds. It's a 16-foot ring. These guys throw bombs. And now you're going to start seeing some uppercuts on the part of Johnson. And that one hurt Manson. He's in big trouble right there. Another one got through. He's almost out on his feet right here, and I believe it's one more uppercut on the inside that catches him on the point of the chin, and down he goes. We're going to 
going to see that great uppercut. That's the one that did it really out here. He is out on his feet. Vance is doing everything he can to keep on his feet to try to weather the storm, to keep those blows from landing. But watch for another big uppercut. And I believe there's another one following this. Right there, that one landed. And one more comes right through, and down he goes. So Marvin Johnson, who fought only two rounds in the last 19 months, Ring rust would be his principal enemy, not having enough activity, but it was to the contrary as he floored Alvino Manson in the first round. Let's go to Bob Simpson in the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner, one minute of the first round, the new ESPN light heavyweight champion, Marvin Johnson. champion by virtue of a knockout one minute into the first round and Alvino Madsen fortunately getting up on his feet.